Oh, end of Act 1. Our standing is much improved thanks to my achievements in Greece. It's time to begin restoring the villa and expanding our business. They told me Lucullus is your Patronus now. That means our family reputation will be restored. That and more. Awesome. Lucius, Liliana. It's so good to see you again, Mother. And brother, you're back. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Can't say I miss Mother's endless chatter. Oh, it is. You are the patriarch of this family now. The well-being of it is your primary concern. The villa is yours. All of your rights are restored. Nice. Congratulations. I don't know how we can ever repay you, Lucius. There's no need to repay anything. You of all people should know that, Claudiana. This was not a transaction. Still, I'll find a way to repay you. I'll keep that in mind. Is that it? But what Don't if they... worry, Claudiana. No one can harm your family as long as I am alive. Oh, Everything no. will be fine. Act two. You have received the payment of products of your vineyard of thousand. Do I constantly get money then? Well, I have my vineyard. That would be nice. Good morning, dear. Oh, hi. Have you slept well? As usual, mother, I slept like an infant. In my dream, I was in a swimming cool river in a pack house. Cat seemed to be standing guard. Cat standing guard against whom? Eight, I think. The northern barbarians I'll, I'll double check. Fluffiness. I believe I'm eight. I heard in the east people think that cats guard the gates of the underworld. Nothing but dreams. Dreams are meaningless. Maybe. Let us hope they are. There is a thing. He asked to see you, Lorco. He says he has a business proposition. What possible business could I have with that murderous bastard? It might still be a good idea to figure out what he's up to. Do be careful, though. I have a plan. Whatever you do, be careful. You just said that. Fuck, Cinerous. Excuse me. Oh, no, excuse me. That boy who always asks for you hasn't been. Gardening is the pinnacle of civilization. He became too. Can't hear two people at once. What happened? Constant Leonera had a certain talk with him, and it seems he got the message. That woman is worth her weight in gold. <laughs> uh, I am level eight. Yep. Uh, nobody leveled up. He has to do something level up. Oh, she's close. Good morning, Domine. Look I've been sense. waiting for you. Have you been exercising? <laughs> you jest, I'm sure. Real Texas if ham anything, and cheese. I've grown a bigger belly. Bread, butter, fried skillet on help. one side. Let's decide I have to crash cheese, then slice sandwich of ham. Cheese and bread. Pretzel toasted. Sounds good to me. Sounds delicious. Winery's doing well, I assume? It is generating quite a bit of income, even though our recipes are old. The grape seed we have imported from Gallia produces tasteful drink. There's always room for improvement, though. Let's go to the market. I seem to have an appointment. To visit Lucullus, I wonder what he's up to. I can't think of a reason why he would not be doing well. I've heard Nasamones is a land of forbidden pleasures. Alas, it's too far away. But uh, speaking of our friends in high places, it might be worth going to the Senate this afternoon. Tullius Cicero is holding court there today. You might learn something. Uh, Twitch. Streaming on Twitch. Twitch and YouTube. 
That you do. And I can buy some groceries while we're at it. Domine. I mean, I have the option to be uh, affiliated on Twitch. But, like, Starbend, I don't think he can watch it on his PS3. I think he has YouTube. So I, uh, I haven't accepted that. Plus, if I'm affiliated with Twitch, I can't stream on YouTube and uh, Twitch at the same time. So if I do that, I'd have to be basically on Twitch alone. Let's travel to the market. Well, that's all I got to do. These damned crows and their indiscriminate defecation. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Twitch for the win. I mean, overall, like Twitch better to stream on, but most of the people I have watched on have watched on uh, YouTube. Is your back giving you trouble? My wife is a trained masseuse. Oh? Salve legate. Are you looking for medical supplies? I don't know, I'm a legatus. The world may be large, but Rome is smaller than you'd think in some ways. People talk, and you are mildly famous. Tell me what you need, and I shall provide you with everything. What do you sell? I have some linen I can spare. Yep. You could buy some if you want to make bandages. This bottle could also prove to be interesting for you. It's a concoction that works against the effects of many poisons. Is poison a problem people commonly face in Rome? Uh, yeah, I bet you it is. The machinations of the senatorial class can occasionally turn very bitter indeed. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. I, can buy it later. I hope you're right. Anti venom is not the kind of thing you can afford to purchase too late. Now, now you make me think I need to get it. Um, we'll go linen. That, I have plenty. How many do you need? Echo, echo. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I have 7100. That's expensive. Man, that's expensive. Uh, we'll do that. Thank you. Let us hope you'll never have need of them. The machinations of the senatorial class can occasionally... We're going to buy it. You should make sure to consult a trained healer in mixing this, however. The wrong application could turn ugly. Hmm. More people than I missed. Uh, well, how about you? Oh, Sextus! Oh, fantastic! All right. So I soak some bread in wine. Go to the blacksmith. With minced ox meat, and then what? We roll it with salt and grill it over the fire. So you found me again, but you're a civilian now. Here you are, just another customer in my smithy. Favorite grumpy old iron pounder. Only because you've never met any of my competitors, I'm sure. I don't suppose you're in the market for some carpentry tools. And I'll tell him to purchase all the metal tools from here from now on? Sure. <laughs> A fine gift for this humble smith. For my service to your legion, I assume. Much obliged. Tell you what. I do have something here you might be interested in. Oh. Have you ever heard the legend of the Ankylia? Shield of Mars? Of course I have. Well, it just so happens I have come into possession of one of the replicas created by Numa Pompilius. Okay. 
2,000? Oh my god, is it worth 2,000? Wish to sell me a replica of a shield? Or perhaps it's the original. Who knows? But you see, even a replica, ancient and storied as it is, is worth a small fortune. If nothing else, it's an exquisite artifact of a bygone age. I wish I could see it first. Um... A fair price, I should say. Yeah, Very well. Of course you'd say Hercule that. is yours. I cannot guarantee that it once belonged to a god, but you have my word that it is a good shield, and it will serve you well should you ever use it in combat. Why do you manage to install yourself? Should you have an assistant for the spend time at the forge? You are as savvy in business as you are in warfare, I see. I do have an assistant, my daughter. She is all I can afford. But today, she is with her teacher learning history or Greek or some other such high-minded nonsense. The hope is, if he fills her head with enough such drivel, she will find a wealthy husband so she'll never have to peddle my pots and pans again. If you were the original, I believe the legends prescribe that Rome will only stand as long as the Ancil is preserved. Then, if you buy it from me, you should take good care of it. He did! Wait, let's take a look. Oh, a seven. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully, Linus will be happy. Mm -hmm. If there's any more shops. I don't believe so. All right, let's go over here. I saw her eating with her husband at a Pofino party. The poor woman, having to debase herself like that. Hopefully things will turn around for them soon. What were you doing at a Popina? Not eating there, I hope. Of course not. I was there on business. I love some of the conversations. Sorry. It is good to see you after all this time. What do you want? Let's get it over with. Straight to business and no idle chit-chat. Oh. No wonder that old fart chose you as his apprentice and tool. You are better at getting things done. Strange way to compliment someone, but I'll take it. It wasn't a compliment. I was merely stating a fact. The sun rises every day. Should it thank me for mentioning this? I think not. Oh, All compliments you. are lies. Unlike my brother, I'm not a deceitful person. Tell me, do you like managing your family's vineyard? People in uh, peaceful endeavor. Besides, I enjoy good wine, like just like any other Roman. Rome wasn't built on peace, nor will it survive on peace. I have heard tales of your battles, Legate. You are a wolf. You're the kinsman of Romulus himself. We are very different, you and I. That's why I think we could work together instead of undermining each other. And you wish to collaborate with the man who exposed your brother for the crook he is. Uh, Tiberius was a fool. His vision was limited and crude. He was a believer in the Republic. I believe Rome is in grave danger. It is nothing new, of course. We always had enemies within and without. They always disliked what Rome is and what it stands for. But in the past, Rome used to be a force to be reckoned with. Used to be? We have grown lazy and soft. Our Republic and its myriad procedures slow us down. These days we're more interested in talking about things we should do rather than actually doing those things. We do need a new Rome, though. Unshackled by the limitations of our ancient system and bureaucracy. It will be a Rome of strong minds willing to make difficult decisions. More importantly, it will teach our enemies to never underestimate us again. I have made my preparations, and I want you by my side. Talking about treason? You misunderstand. I would never betray Rome. I am planning to run for consul. I'm sure I can convince you of the validity of my cause. What I'm going to show you will shock you. 
You'll see why Lucullus is in no position to do anything for Rome. Full claim for a man who's never been Imperator. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I would not hesitate to serve Rome in the war, should the opportunity arise. You will not regret listening to my offer. Wale, until next time. Hey, Denaria lived up. All right, time to head home. I just want to leave. Good day. Uh, you are clearly a well-bred young man. Oh, um, no. I will offer you a choice. Your money or your life. I really don't want to do this. I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. I believe the meaning was you will regret doing this. Oh, kill them both. Salwete people, shall we even the odds? Your timing is impeccable awesome. as usual, Kaiso. You save us again. Always a pleasure, old man. Let us not turn this into a habit, though. So we gotta punch people? I was not expecting this. Alright, they have weapons and I don't. Um, punch or punch? Interesting. So they got... Can I equip a weapon? No. Um. Tackle him! <sighs> Wasn't too bad. Oh, that archer is going to be a pain in the butt. And there's so many people here, too. What if I come over here? Not sure how well this is going to go. Um... Not much else I can do. Oh, this is gonna suck. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Unless somebody come to rescue me. take out five of these guys Didn't go well. Uh, 
knocking them down but we're gonna one of us are gonna drop here look at all these guys mikey's going down Interesting. Well, if I can use this, does this hurt? Good. Know them. That means you're fine. Dabbing me hurts. Um. B B flanked. Oh, I kicked him. I'm going around. What? No, you're. Mm. Where did I get him? Oh, that's the archer. Three. We got to beat three. So one of these guys is about ready to go down. Man, the old man's going down. Can I heal the old man? No. He's going down. I'm sorry, dude. I can't heal you. Um. Well, the guy that could uh, take it down ran off. All right, here we go, old man down. I am hurting in entirely new places. <laughs> I got no other hit. No other attack. Guess you're done. <laughs> Worked. Where is Vitellius Lurko? One wonders. In Tartarus, hopefully. But that's not important. A messenger arrived this morning. It is Proconsul Licinius Lucullus. He says I should find you as soon as possible, and you'd know why.
If I knew Dominus Luculus, he would have sent a rider for you with all the instructions. Let's return to the villa. Uh, yeah, bring them along. I'm Bessie and uh, Calida. I'm bringing them to the villa. A reasonable precaution. We may soon need their assistance. You should go ahead. I get the feeling time is of the essence. All right. All right. Um. I just want to get out of here now. Um. more bandits well, hopefully when we start the next act that uh Sonoros isn't hurt Your old friends back at the villa. Well, I guess I'm supposed to just talk to my mom. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet Have a you. Good night. Yeah, thanks for the follow, city. It arrived just after noon. The rider insists on giving the message to you. It appears this woman was instructed to meet you here as well. The proconsul just told me to find you. Said you'd know why. Thanks for coming at such short notice. Exciting things always happen when you're around. The message, please. You must leave everything and come to Nazamones immediately. We're in grave danger. And I'm afraid in this case, we refers to both our family and Rome itself. It seems we have underestimated Vitellius Lurka. Although the little brother wields no political power of significance, he is the de facto leader of his family. An ambitious man who isn't reckless makes an enemy to be reckoned with. His friendly demeanor masks a molten core of vengeful desire. He still remembers how we dismantled their illegal operations in Asia. And I'm afraid he wants our lives in return. I have reason to believe Lurko is planning something big. My speculatories say he's preparing to remove me from my position in Nazamones by force and make it look like a local uprising. If he succeeds, Rome is likely to lose control of the entire territory, giving Lurko the perfect excuse to challenge the current consuls. We cannot allow him to go ahead with this plan. I need your help. Reconstitute Legio Victrix. I know they are still loyal to you. Then sail for Nazamanes immediately. A battle-ready army will be the last thing Lurko would expect. Do not despair. Know that the sun is brightest following the darkest day. See this as an opportunity. If we can turn the tables on Lurko, we can at last expose him for the crook he is. I await your arrival anxiously. Your Patronus, and your dear friend, Lucius Lucinius Lucullus. I could not find Calida, but I have brought Bestia. I arrived before any of you did. You are looking good, Bestia. You have recovered from our last fight. The injuries were not a problem, but I still owe the Arena Master for all the damages we caused. Uh, Discord? Uh, basically it's like, uh, -huh. Uh, it's a place where you can go, you can chat. I have, like, my uh, notifications for my videos. Um, but, yeah, it's just another place that you can meet up with community members and talk. Um, I don't have tons of people on Discord, but I do have it. Um, yeah, just another place to talk to people. 